I watching? Oh, skin ad. I'm elite. Yeah, rotate coming on in to play advantage right now. I'm elite going to be peeking out wide and Mini. Mimi, sorry. So oh, okay, said, okay. No, it's all one cap who could potentially deny the DP. He's coming on in a rapid oh. The first now fades away. And all of a sudden, this is a bit threatening, especially as he gets out Why? of the third as well. Kath, what are you doing? This is insane. See, I, I will be very surprised to see a lot of guy teams doing what you just saw there on a pro level. Did you see how many 1v1 peaks she just got during that round? Like that, the whole round is 1v1 peaks. Watch this back one more time. Watch this. Two versus four. Emily gets a 1v1. Kath goes vent. Obviously catches the first person off guard, right? So that's fine. But then immediately afterwards, one. 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 Cake. Cake. That was Kath. That was North America. And Give me the chance. Take advantage of it. Now, one before. Here we go. Surely not going to take this. Does the damage, but can connect. Look how old this is. Will be futile. This is There's so old. Much he can do here. And they know where he's at, and they're not positioning on him. See, they peak. See that peak? That peak was two people. Yes. But this guy's been sitting side door and hasn't helped them at all yet. But there is time. This guy. See, this guy was sitting behind Silo. Waited for his teammate to peek from Sandwich so they could peek him together, and this guy was so close to the action. Oh my god! This, this clip is so much nuttier. 4K! Can he do it? 1v1 now! Let's see if Config can bring it home for Dick Desas and all the Danish brands in the crowd. So many things had to go right for this to happen. Oh! There it is! It's a much older Counter Strike, but. We start off with a perfect pistol round from Config. That was absolutely nutty. That was insane. And the T's, they've made the call to go back, and it's the right one. Flashbang lands onto Claudia, and now it's Vilgren at one versus three. Two of the players are low. Two Spreeder. Smart decision there to swap out for the AG with a spam, just slightly off center there. I think the best bet is to save the AWP and just cut your losses short while you can. Oh, she's going to go for it. Has a defuse kit. No utility, but she's got the confidence. And that's what matters. Orp from Diane holding the angle and the cross. Good, no peaks. Good, no peaks. Short as well. Oh, that nade if it connects. It's a great nade. Kill onto Jennifer. The nade that's connects. a great nade. One HP. Connector sees the player towards short. It's Emmy. Did she win this? HP for her. Emmy, she's going to go for the shoulder peak and give it away. She You're is. kidding me. I don't think here, Tom. Wow. She's celebrating as if she's done it. I think she has. That's a good clutch. <laughs> That's a great clutch. clutch from Vilga. That is unreal. I, I great grenade. Force a 1v1. Because she shouldn't. Losing the pistols would start bickering. Automatic backing away at least gets one before they get all the way inside of the site, but they'll still plant the So he aces this? Now four alive in the post plant. NBK, fantastic deagle from range. Flush has got to do it all. He's found two already. Apex standing in behind triple. And Alex to work with him. Those two together have combined for most of the work. It's perfect the positioning. Vitality, certainly part of the second as well. But Flush has outdone Apex. He snuck behind him. He has no yep. idea he's even crossed out from CT. And he'll know that this is toward connector. Aug scope is going to be a benefit. He can hold it down while looking. And as he peeks out, he's going to oh, hold he it. all the way through. He had it. But he still got off and still found the headshot. There's still time. Flush wins it back. Well, oh, there he is always. He'll find 14 for Cloud9 and bails them out. He's going to charge it down. Few shots towards quad, a few towards door. It's all coming up. Ailey looking to survive. But this is such a tough situation to be in. Nasty is struggling as Ailey now left in a 1v3. The bomb, of course, being defused. She's trying to try and get out. Try and finish it off. Ailey! Ailey! Oh my goodness! Back to back headshots. Ailey with the quad kill somehow makes that work. That is godlike. Excuse me, they've pounced towards that B bomb site. It's twist to defend. There's the control of the checkers. Control of the checkers while he plays chess twists. 40 deaths. He'll find res. Now get right and forced. Is gonna have to be what are we calling this? We're calling this a 1v3? Exists already tagged in the corner. Checks it and removes him instantly. On a Glock, no less. But Glock does not have the range to the USP. It does. It's death by a thousand paper cuts if he can hit every single shot. And twist can't return. He's got the... 
advantage inside the site with the bomb down to Swiss. Oh, he's just hoping he's going to conjure some sort of summoning spell because he's gotten off the angle, and Twist doesn't really need to leave the site. So it's wishful thinking that he could bait him out into the headshot, hey! but that he does exactly that! How are they saying that they're comparable, right? This girl gets a 1v3, technically a 1v1 at door, ends up swinging into three players. One player sitting on bomb, not removing from bomb. The other two players get deleted. She, did, she had some good shots, but that's not even close to this round. From Forrest. He knew exactly what I think that's the purpose of this clip. I, I'm, I, I'm not sure. Oh my god, I miss Cobble. It's all Dignitas players. <sighs> nuts. Nuts. She's crazy. Good timing. It's all on Ailey. The ace is well and truly in sight, and there's Rain. She's Beautiful round. Beautiful round. Give us, give us snacks. Give us snacks on Cobble coming out of B. And that's in style. Dignitas, what a brilliant way to pick up that pistol round. They can't be anything but happy. If they give us snacks in response to that, that's unfair, truly. I'm a serious gamer. Because that was a nuts round right there. Noise that they don't notice the bomb quickly approaching towards that A bomb site. That's where the real play is, and so far it's working. There are still four liquid players towards B. Now they know, but it's too late. Dennis with the fast frag on a simple. Sure, he could get the return, but the bomb will be planted. Dennis posting a defense by the APC now as that bomb ticks away. Three That's three easy. Easy. Is this guy done just yet? I don't even know. He's that angle? Ugh. Well. This is a very tough re -entry. Such an e easy oh, angle. Dennis is getting in there again. And there might be one more, of course. Dennis with the ace to kick I miss off. Dennis, the dude. Half. Fnatic <laughs> needed that. And Dennis delivered. Sealed you red. At some point, they must catch... 2% left. The rotation over. Can't stop. Finally committing to the plant now, Snods. She has a flashbang. Smart play to toy with the door. See if they will actually fall for that. She goes for the silent jump up Whoa. as well. This could actually be incredible. She's played it so smart. <sighs> she waits for the push to come through. Diane gonna go for the smoke, the double smoke play onto it. She knows the lineup from the plant that she found. That's the initial oh. headshot art star. Winning another clutch round. It's, it's good one v two. Twist gets Phelps. Doesn't even react to that. He just looks so focused as if it was always going to hit that one shot he's only got 20 seconds here cold Sarah. bomb is not in a good position for him he knows both of the cts are close by but he just he doesn't have time in this round he needs to get the bomb down smoke will be popped down on the side and he'll plant behind silo but liquid pushing into him cold Sarah, can he do it knows that they're pushing him there's the first cold Sarah. oh that's Listen, Cold Zera is one of the only Counter Strike players in the history of the game to be favored in any one versus three situation. At least he was a couple years ago. I'm, he's fallen off a bit because member fell off a bit. But that right there. Into him, Cold Zera. Look at that. Terrible Counter Strike by Twist and Naf. Can he do it? Knows that they're pushing him. There's the first Cold Zera. I mean, that's just that's just poor. Massive for Cold Zera and team, but that that was just. That's terrible. Push, which is exactly what she needs to be doing right now as they try and funnel their way out to the choke point. So far, so good. 3v1 now. They're going for the knife on Zaz. It's only 11 10. Is a knife really what you want to be thinking about? I would start to disagree. I mean, this is actually looking doable. Zaz punishing the knife for 10. Only 11. Like, what, are, what, are we, what are we even talking about? 4v3. Giuliano makes it a 4v3. It was a 3v5. So far, so good. So, Zaz gets the fourth. So, she gets a fork out of this. It's a one versus three. three Candy decides she's going to jump in the pit. As it's only 11 10, is a knife really what you want to be thinking about? I would start to disagree. I mean, this is actually looking doable. Zaz. I respect the fact that Russian forces stayed wide to pit to fight that, and that's two versus one. 
but you've got pistols long range. She was smart enough to get a P250 in the round, probably with armor. Yeah, so someone dropped her P250. She's already dumb three of your teammates or two of your teammates. Why? Why take that fight? I hate watching clutches where it's just like clearly bad counter strike is played by the other team. It's, it doesn't deserve to be on a list of a good round if the team makes enough mistakes to make it a good round. Like, you could always argue, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, the other team has to make mistakes in order for it to be a good round. But not really. When you watch the rounds and you watch the miracles that happen in Counter-Strike, I don't know. I mean, learning where to take 1v1 fights off when you're down in numbers is, is a big part of being a good Counter-Strike player. But watching these teams, like, lose these 4v1s and 3v1s and play completely wrong on the professional level, just it just hurts the heart to watch. $300 per kill. Maybe hey, uh, Dude's nutty. Here we go. See, but like, even with those angles, like, the only reason they're still peeking to K Shirato there is because they're trying to trade off their teammates. And then they got punished. And so now it's a 2v1, and Apex and Alex are both like, alright, we gotta figure out how we can make him take a fight with both of us here. Situation. There's still two players that flash bang out. Goes the flash the forces it to be another 1v1. Oh, God. Sick. I don't, I don't blame them so much for that. Oh, my God, no. Goose Breeder is about to get a 1v5 ace. Oh, no. Goose Breeder is left as woman standing here she's gonna have to try and pull off a 1v5 she's already got what what two of those kills had the last three restricted to the complete what are they doing happening right now goose breeder up to four one more kill needed for the ace and the close out of the pistol for those damn canadians the Let's amount see. of pressure on athena right now to win this 1v1 has to be so massive you can't lose a five versus one we're gonna see it. I believe Goose Breeder's got the spot into the open for the duel. Remember that that USP gets quite a bit of an advantage at this range. Doesn't matter though. Goose Breeder nearly has already won the battle, bringing Athena down into three oh HP. And she does it. She finishes it off. Gets the ace on the pistol. Oh my God! She just won a one versus five. Those are so rare in Counter Strike to pull off. Against. God, I hate him. I'm a serious gamer. <laughs> Them in pistol rounds, and while it started very well for Sirk, he's found three kills. Looking for a little bit more, he knows the Zeph is around this corner, and that's a one, second through the two. smoke. Okay, <laughs> what? See the difference, the difference in nuttiness in these two clips. These three player, players are all in the same lane, focused on the same player, looking for the same damage. Watch this closely. One, two. Three. I mean, that's... First of all, Cirque is looking to Ivy because he just got a 3k Ivy. The other two players try to trade off a of Cirque, instantly get p 250 and they're peaking the same person. So it's 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 perfect Counter-Strike, right? It, essentially, all you got to do there is peak and trade your teammate. They're doing what they're supposed to do. But Zeta just makes some of the nuttiest kills with that crouch and the perfect placement. And now all of a sudden, it's a winnable round and a one versus two. And get all five kills. He has to do everything to win in this round. He's got to be careful because they're looking to peek in through the corner. He's obviously yeah, this is the perfect angle. Him off. And obviously the CTs want to try and peek this one together. The P250 can still work in a bit more of a spammy fashion, but oh, oh, oh! <laughs> not not even close to comparable, dude. What? Okay. <laughs> Nutty around. Not an opper. Not an opper. But when they make it easy. Dogs of war feeding Emmy one after the other, and now she has a chance to win the round and the match. This isn't even a C female CS. DOW isn't a female team. Bot Becker did. They are about to get overwhelmed, and what looked like such a solid start to their half has only resulted in what five rounds? Because I think it's planting. 
but it, it but obviously it's a little bit sad for them because they could have had way more so you got to give oh. credit to nip for bringing you this far back it's definitely very cool now as long as they don't find simple fight simple one at a time there should be no way out of this especially not with just 20 seconds here so they just gotta stay safe otherwise it, that would be the worst way oh my god this is so old around. and that would actually be bit, pretty big if that happened 10 seconds where do they pull some of these control. clips from if he can look for the man in here and Freiburg goes down five seconds four seconds and go straight for the plant and he's gonna get it as well now it's get right he's actually revealed his position simple's waiting right here he's got the triple he just needs the timing get right there he pre-fires and it's gonna get it oh, you, oh my god I think I hear it. Let's go. Playable. Anyway, long story short, girl CS is important too. There's some seriously talented women out there, but you can't compare one to the other.